All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video by Awesome Vacuum. So uh, today I got a quick unboxing for you guys, and today I will be unboxing the Bissell Power Clean Pet Slim Corded um, Vacuum Cleaner. So here it is, as you can see. And if I just turn the box around, here you can see the features. So it says. Um, two cleaning modes brush roll on and off easy empty dirt tank with clean side technology removable hand vacuum 30 foot power cord which is really long some uprights don't even have that built-in extension wand swivel steering and Bissell's tangle free um brush bowl we're going to test that uh dusting brush three in one rotating pet hair nozzle and crevice tool so um, this machine definitely looks really cool so uh, let's get started all right so got my scissors so now what I'm gonna do is just cut this tape off here and we'll see what we get inside So, here, um, first thing to come out is some um, instruction booklets and stuff like that. Put that off to the side. Okay, so next thing to come out, here's the cleaner head. So, I'll just open that up. And um, here's, you can see the brush roll which has medium st stiff bristles not too stiff not too soft we have a um, little strip here to prevent sca um, scattering on hard floors if you decide not to shut off the brush roll which when you're on a bare floor you should always do that but if you don't that's there anyway edge cleaning is definitely not its sling here as you can see because there's really no, the bristles really don't get close to the edge, really. And another thing I see here is it has these little things here. Um, I assume so you can open up the brush roll to unclog or something, but I'm not sure if you can remove that, the brush roll on this. Actually, let's find out. All right, so I'll just go ahead and undo these. See what it looks like inside. Hmm. Oh, I didn't do it enough. All right, just set that there. And now, let's just see what it looks like inside. Here, if I can get that off. Huh. There we go. There, that's it. Okay, so the base plate comes off and... Yes, you can remove the brush roll. Um, if you wanted to unclog it, or if you wanted to clean it off, that's pretty cool. Let me just get it back in. And as you can see here, um, it does have a tooth geared belt on there, so that's good. Which, a lot of the a lot of the cheaper vacuums don't even have that. They just use the um, glorified rubber bands um, belts, which are the rubber belts, which um, are very problematic and they really don't work very well. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. But anyway, so to put it in, put this back in, just line up these little tabs and just put them back in. Okay, there we go. Then just take a flathead screwdriver, or you could probably even use a coin if you didn't have a screwdriver, and just turn those on. Okay. Um, so anyway, there's the cleaner head itself, or the power head, um, looks really good. And it even has rubber um, wheels, which is really nice. 
I do like that. Yeah, I think these are they? Yeah, I think these are even rubber too, so that's cool. Um, so there's that. Next thing to come out is this tool here. This is, uh, this is a three in one pet hair tool as you can see. Um, it rotates in different angles, you know. Um, so that's cool. Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, we have this little thing here to mount the attachments um, on, and then we have Bissell's dusting brush, which is um, has these little rubber teeth. The bristles on here are actually pretty soft, but they're um, they're not overly stiff, but they're not, but they are pretty soft though. Um, but I would not use this on anything too delicate. Um, this would actually be great for the leather couches, I guess. This could be good for. Um, next thing here is the um, this thing here, which hmm, they look this. Um, I'm not sure what these are for actually, because they look the same. Hmm. Not sure about that. I'll have to find that out. And uh, here's a wall mount if you want to mount this to the wall, which I don't think I'll be wall mounting this machine, but if you want to, it's there. So, yeah. And the next thing here is um, the crevice tool, which has a little bit of factory dust on there. I'm going to just clean that off. Crevice tool actually doesn't look that bad, actually. It looks really good. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and it's even got um, Bissell's um, Bissell on there, if you can see. So, that's cool. And a piece of cardboard here. I don't think there's anything in here. No, there's nothing in there, I don't think. Uh, then the next thing to come out, here if I can get it, I'll... here we go, um, the extension wand here, which I'm going to just have a quick look at that, actually I really like that color blue, um, looks really good doesn't it? Um, here's... You know, kind of looking at this, it kind of looks like a shark, um, it looks kind of like a shark, um, extension wand here. How oh, it has the plastic ends and the metal, and also this little button thing here is kind of like a shark. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, quick release cord hooks. There, and, oh, this one here even moves too. That's cool. And of course, um, this is where the power nozzle <laughs> plugs in here, like that. And now there's your power nozzle plugged in. So that's really cool. Um, so I'll just put that off there. And I think the last thing to come out here is the main machine itself. Here, so that looks really cool. Um, here it is. It actually, um, it feels really light. So it's, and here's the brush roller. Um, this is or the power switch. So that shuts. That's for hard floors, and that turns on the brush roll. Um, then this little thing here releases the dirt bin, and let's look, have a quick look at that. So you can pull the cyclone out there like that, um, dump out the contents, and just put it back in there, 
like that. And here's the filter here, which, how does that come out? Hmm. Hang on. Oh, you twist it. Okay. That's cool. Um, here's the filter. Nothing more than just a sponge. So I'll just put that back in. Like that. And then just put this back in somehow. Hmm. How's this go? It should be in there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's try it now. Okay. I, um, one thing I noticed right off the bat is it's very hard to um, put this back together. Oh. Well, maybe I didn't have it the right way around. Let's try it. Maybe try it. Maybe it's supposed to go in that way. Okay. Let's try it. There we go. Um, anyway, there's the main machine itself. Here's the cord, which um, has a little prong protector on there. So that's cool. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so I guess I'll put the machine together now. All right, so to assemble um, your machine, you would take the extension wand, plug the green end into the power nozzle like that, and then lift it up here and plug it in here like that. And that's assembly done. And as you can see, this has a really good swivel neck actually. Actually, um, yeah, that feels really good. And then, anyway, let, um, let me just check something. Okay, this is a 4.2 amp, and it is model 339, um, 3339. So that's interesting. And now, if you wanted to, uh, you could undo the little cord hook, or the, um, the cord wrap thing. If I just put the machine down, here you can do that. Go like this. And then you could wind up the cord. Like this. And which is going to be um, kind of hard to do because it's all tied up right now. But anyway, I'll, I'll just, just wind this up here. Okay, and now once you get the cord all tied up, um, you should pull your prong protector off and then you can just um, put the Clip the cord in like this. Actually. Like that. And as you can see here, the cord doesn't look the uh, very best, but considering it's brand new, that's over time it will straighten out. Um, but yeah, let's plug the machine in now and we'll give it a try. Got the machine all plugged in and ready to go. So I'll just switch it on here. Wow, that's really quiet. Let's hear what um, let's hear what it sounds like with the brush spinning. Wow, that's really nice. You can see there's already some dirt spinning in there.
as you can see, just from doing that little area, um, it's managed to pick up quite a bit here. Actually, just turn it this way. And you can see there's a little bit of fine dust in there too, so that's really good. So, first impressions, I'm really happy with this machine. Um, and looking at this now, I can I can kind of see that there's no uh, hair tangle on here, so that's cool. So, um, but I will be using this machine for a little bit, and then I'll get back to you. Um, I'll do a, a full review on it soon. So. Uh, anyway, here's a last look of it. So, in the meantime, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Awesome Vacuums. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.